hey guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm gonna be creating this beautiful golden clam makeup look this is gonna suit each and every indian skin tone and if you are interested in seeing how i got this look then please keep on watching so as always i'm starting off with a moisturizer now this is really good underneath your makeup as well this is gonna give you immense amount of hydration and moisturization to your skin Next up, I'm using a primer. Now this is gonna give my skin a smooth finish as well as this is gonna control my oils and sebum. This is not exactly a pore minimizing primer but this is gonna give you a smooth canvas to work with. Next I'm using a concealer to color correct my dark circles, the pigmentation around my mouth and wherever I like to apply my concealer, wherever I like to highlight my face a little bit, I'm just using the concealer on that area and then I'm gonna blend it with my beauty sponge and this one is from Palabar. All of the products that I'm gonna be using today, the links and the details will be mentioned in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. Next up, I'm using another concealer. Now this one is a little bit lighter than my skin tone and I'm using it just to highlight my face. And as you can see, I'm using a very small amount and this is gonna work as a highlighting concealer. Next I'm using a cream contour today and this one is from Wet n Wild and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smile and trace the area where I would like to contour. Now if you do a fish face the contour line is going to go a little down than it normally should. So that's the thing I always do first I smile then trace the area where I would like to contour my face and then I draw the line. Then I'm gonna apply a little bit on my forehead, on the sides of my nose, a little bit down my lips and also I'm gonna control my jawline with it because I want that chiseled face that I don't have. And then I'm gonna take the same beauty sponge and blend everything in. Now this particular contour shade, the undertone is so beautiful. It gives that uh, warmth to your skin as well as it defines your face and give your face that chiseled look that you opt for. So if you are looking for a cream contour stick, would highly recommend this. And again I'm gonna take a liquid highlighter and I'm using it only on the highest points of my face and I'm not using it all over my face because if I use it all over my face I'm gonna look like a teen man and I don't want that I just want to highlight the highest points of my face so I'm using it only on those areas. And as I want a natural looking skin, all of these concealers, the cream contours and highlighters, all of them are going underneath my base. If I use it on top of my foundation, my base is gonna look cakey. So all of these products, I'm using it underneath my foundation and then I will move on to the foundation. And for foundation, I'm not using anything that is full coverage because I have used a lot of products underneath. So I want them to pick through as well. So I chose something which is very light to medium coverage and which is very sure and very dewy looking on the skin. And this foundation is my favorite fall winter foundation. It looks so dewy and so beautiful on the skin and it blends beautifully like a dream as you can see here. And then to set the cream products on place, I'm using a loose powder and I'm mostly concentrating only on those areas where I have applied the concealer so that the concealer doesn't move from its place. And also I'm applying it on my T-zone area so that I don't get oily throughout the day. And then I'm gonna take a very small amount on my beauty blender and I'm gonna set the cheek area and the rest of my face. A very small amount, you don't need too much otherwise your face is gonna look cakey. And once that is done, I'm using a setting spray to set the base products on place so that it doesn't move, doesn't purge. And then moving on to the bronzer and this one is really really beautiful on the skin. I don't know, I think this is discontinued on Nykaa. I couldn't find it online but uh, when you are going for this kind of makeup look, I would suggest you go for any bronzer that has a very beautiful sheen to it. This is gonna look really nice when you apply it on your skin. 
and yeah don't go for the matte bronzers if you have a lot of textures and perms and rashes on your skin then only go for the matte bronzers otherwise you can definitely use this kind of shimmery and bronzer that has a beautiful sheen to it this looks really nice uh, on your skin now moving on to the brows and today i'm going for a very soft and natural looking brows because i want my skin to be on focus and otherwise the rest of my face would be very soft and very subtle which is very cohesive with the look and the main focus of this look is the glowy and dewy uh, golden looking skin then to set the brows on place, I'm using this brow mascara from Nykaa. Now the wand is so beautiful and so unique and it works beautifully on my thick brows. So yeah, I really like it. Now moving on to a blush and I want my blush to be very natural looking as well as it's gonna give a beautiful sheen to my skin and it's not gonna be so overpowering. So I'm choosing this one from Wet n Wild. Now moving on to the eye makeup and I'm gonna take the same bronzer and applying it all over my crease because I want my eyes to be very defined and this bronzer gives a very beautiful definition to my eyes and this is gonna give a beautiful depth uh, as well. Then I'm gonna take a liquid eyeshadow. This one is a little bit dried up so I'm gonna use it as my eyeshadow base. I'm gonna use another eyeshadow on top of it and this works beautifully as a base. Moving on to the Nykaa Beachside Peach Palette and this is so beautiful. I'm gonna take this particular shade and applying it all over my eyelid and I'm using my finger because uh, whenever it's shimmery or a glittery shade, I prefer using my finger to get the maximum amount of pigmentation. And then I'm going to take this brown shade to define my eyes a little further because if I use just one particular shade my eyes is going to look flat but if you use a darker shade on the outer corner of your eyes this is going to give some depth to your eyes and this looks really nice. So I applied this shade mostly on the outer corners of my eyes and then I also connected it with my bottom lash line so that everything looks very connected and cohesive. Now moving on to the highlighter and this highlighter is the best drugstore highlighter according to me and look at that it's so beautiful so blendable so creamy buttery and yeah I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend everything in so that my face doesn't look chalky or powdery at all because nobody wants that. And also I'm gonna highlight my inner corners with the same highlighter and I'm just flicking it upwards so that it gives a beautiful shape to my eyes. For mascara I'm using the NYX one. You can choose anything which is lengthening and volumizing. Next I'm using a nude eye pencil on my waterline so that my eyes look a bit awake. Now it's time to do my lips and I'm using this K-Beauty lip liner in the shade Hype. Such a beautiful nude lip liner and also I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick followed by this liner which is in the shade I Explore. To set all of this makeup products on place, I'm using this setting spray for one last time and yeah that's it, that's the finished look. I hope you guys like it, I so enjoyed creating this makeup look, I hope you guys like it too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and that's it for today's video, I will see you in my next video, bye.